Okay, that was for you. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought I started this lesson already, but maybe I didn't, and I, or it turned off on its own or something. Like that. So this is exercise one mm -hmm. to learn how to play the violin by book. Mm -hmm. The first note you're gonna play is called the D. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, note here. The second note you're going to play is the A. And some people can't admit they're wrong either. You know, I never agreed to anything. I don't have a choice. You're not giving me one. You're playing rock doctor and you know? a you are the only opinion that matters. <laughs> and again, it's not as though I don't have a physical disability either that keeps me from doing about half of what I used to do before I joined, right? But who's lying, me or you? <laughs> Was I healed or not, right? Things like that. Mm -hmm. So this is the G, or E, I'm sorry. Now you also notice you are hearing the three distinct notes for the violin, right? Now the fourth is a low G. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. right. But you're saying, wait a minute, that sounds higher. Okay, well, let's try it backwards then, right? Okay. That could be the D, that the G, that the A, and that the E. Mm -hmm. But see, I don't have to agree to you. I don't have to say I was not okay or was okay before I joined the Navy. There are people I'm around, though, who could have affected my behavior then, like my shipmates. I know. There's another way to look at it. They wouldn't train me. You ever think of that? <laughs> Am I omniscient? Was I born an electrician with all electrical knowledge in my head? Or do I have to learn it one step at a time like everybody else? Captain Gary. So, mm -hmm. they give you little exercises to do. Mm -hmm. Alright. The next one is half net. Mm -hmm. Which is two beats. And again, I don't have a choice if you tell me I'm schizophrenic 
and I don't know what to do about it, and I start hearing voices when I'm 23 and never heard them before. I'm not lying. <laughs> I didn't hear them until then, <laughs> either. I wasn't even hospitalized for it until then. <laughs> so, again. What do you know about me that I don't know about you? Mm -hmm. Or that I don't know about myself? Mm. As well. <laughs> <clears throat> now, is it crazy to assume God's on your side if you survive a car wreck? Mm -hmm. Where the whole windshield would have to land on your head. And the car would have to crash into the ground. And all you know is you blacked out because of it. Shave and a haircut, two bits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but in my eyes. Cause you can't make no mistakes in the psychiatric field, can you? You can't misdiagnose someone in that field, can you? You're so perfect, your shit don't stink like everybody else's. You understand? Now. You can't make somebody mad or not train them and they not know what to do still. Mm -hmm. What do you think this is about? Training what I learned to do growing up is different than what I can do right now. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can't make a mistake? Well, that sounds like you got a God complex yourself. You know what a God complex is? means you can't do no wrong and you can't make a mistake. <laughs> You're so perfect. Even though you die, <laughs> even though you're human, you pretend you can't make a mistake. I oh, know. That's not vanity. Right. That's not a know-it-all attitude when you're going into a field of science that's new. Mm-hmm. Right. Then you pretend you know everything about everybody. Right. Do you? <laughs> now, I'm not saying you're not really looking into people's good and evil impulses. Sure, sure. But what does that make a person if they have both? Bipolar or schizophrenic? Did, right? <laughs> right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having to look into it too. Right. <laughs> Are you nervous? You made a mistake. A hell of a one. A hell of a one. 
See, I'm trying to do a job. But I can't do the job if I don't know what I'm doing, can you? Can you? Have I ever been on any ship in the U.S. Navy until 1993? No, no. Right. Mm-hmm. The next exercise recorded is, but we're playing faster than that, so I'll skip those. <laughs> so, now we got an open string exercise. <clears throat> so, we're going to play the D, D, A, A. That's for a beat. Anyone who sees someone talented who can play an instrument is not using their creative part of the brain. Some people are right brain. Some people are left brain. Learn what that means. Some people have more of a creative process, but are still straight, and some people don't. <laughs> but again, the reason is one mind is associated with the male, and the other mind is associated with the female, and people try to distinctly be one or the other, right? When you have both the left hemisphere, in the right hemisphere in your brain. But if you think androgynously, you can still be straight because the opposite of the male is the female. Mm -hmm. If you're androgynous, you seek a what? Woman. And, uh, you understand? <sighs> That's true androgyny. And, uh, androgyny ain't being with the same sex, but the opposite sex, but whatever, right? So, mm -hmm. <laughs> So the next one is A, D, A, A, D, A, D, A, D, D, D. Let's see. That does. So A, D, D, A. Oops. But won't stay in place. I know. Sorry, that's a problem. All right. So we'll try again. Basically, how you interpret it. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, then we got A, D, A, D, A, A, D, A, D. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. the first note is this one, second note is this one. D-A-D-A-D-A-D-A-D-A-D-A-D. So, 
Left like this. But who told you all that about me? I keep showing you I'm not a good typist if someone typed up a letter. Mm. Anyone can type up a letter and sign my name, especially if I have to sign the red tags and forge my name. In fact, I would mention how, you know, when I was in school, didn't know quite better than teenager. I kind of did that one time, but didn't keep doing it either. <laughs> you know, you got to learn your lessons, right? So, mm -hmm. That was exercise 17.